out here on the Sac River and it is prime time right now for striper season. Uh, the water conditions uh, are clearing up really nicely. It's about a foot or so of uh, clarity. The water slowed down. They stopped releasing so much water and the debris has gotten so much better. Um, it's just the water conditions are just getting better and better. It's the temperature is definitely rising somewhere around like 64, 65 now depend on where you're at on the river. So uh, what that's doing is making these, pushing these stripers to spawn like crazy. And uh, that's what they're doing up in the Calusa area right now. All right, there's been some reports of uh, fishermen catching striper on the feather now. Um, they're starting to push up the feather, uh, but these striper are spawning like crazy up in the Calusa area. Um, they're still being caught very, very little, but they are still being caught uh, in the bay. Um, the delta is really hot and Sacramento River, they're kind of running up in schools, uh, in my opinion. And some days are just better than other days. Um, the Sac River, though, if you're uh, past like the 80 bridge going up like towards Nice Landing in between there, the Verona area, I've heard it's really good. Um, it's kind of clear water right there. You got the uh, sand bank right there, which is really good. But the Calusa area, uh, it's starting to slow down just a little bit because they're spawning. And when they start spawning, they just that's all they focus on and they're just not eating as much. Um, but there's still schools running up these rivers, guys, uh, still coming up to spawn. Uh, the water conditions are still good, so uh, get out there. And I would recommend uh, what's really good right now um, is the live minnows, guys. I've been catching them on the live minnows and just super good. I'll show you guys a setup here in a little bit, uh, how to set it up with just a little splitter with a one ounce ball and then about a three, three foot leader with about a 20 pound mono on there. And then my main line is 60 pound braided. Uh, that's just what I like to run when I'm doing uh, live minnow. And also if you're doing swim baits, those are working pretty good too, especially now that the water's clearing up. Uh, like I said, it's about a foot or so clarity and it's just getting clearer and clearer and better and better so uh cut baits are also good sardines anchovies stuff like that anything get the scent and if you're throwing some swim baits and stuff like that uh always put some some scent on there uh some pro cure or some kind of scent some dip or anything to get these fish uh attracted towards it this has been a great year for the striper guys. Uh, don't worry if you haven't caught any or just some shakers. Uh, I think it's getting better. There's still rounds of striper moving in. Um, just cause they're spawning doesn't mean they're still moving in. So uh, get out there and the water conditions as you can see behind me is just getting better and better. The river flow is much slower now and just the debris is much better. So if you're out there uh, trying to troll Trolling is going to be much better right now and uh, drifting minnows. Like I said, I've had really good luck on minnows. And as uh, for sturgeon goes, guys, uh, I heard the sturgeon's doing really good. Always check your regulations on the sturgeon. Um, they've changed the slot and they've also changed the location. Uh, you can't go up too close to their spawning grounds. I think the line's around uh, Highway 80 on the Sac River is where they cross the line. You can't, uh, it's only catch and release from there on. And so just make sure you uh, check them. I, I heard the sturgeon are doing really good right now. Uh, it's also spawning for the sturgeon. So those guys are moving up river right now. Um, just, just beware, make sure you check your regulations if you guys are trying to uh, keep any other uh, sturgeon around here. Uh, Sassoon Bay, uh, they're catching pretty good amount of sturgeon out there. And as for um, Berryessa, I heard Berryessa is doing really good right now. Um, for trout, uh, the salmon slowed down a little bit over there, but the bass and the crappie are uh, killing it right now in Berryessa. And uh, me and my son are going to go out there in a few days. We'll make a little video of uh, catching some crappie and uh, maybe some catfish and some bass. And they'll take some crappie home to eat.